none of this is ever in time. I can never, like, properly, like, sing along to the music, because it's not in time. Uh, is my stream up? Maybe. I'm gonna do the clap anyways. Ah, gosh, that's so... That's my hand. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BNO stream at twitch.tv slash BNO or youtube.com slash I didn't get the URL right last time, so I'm gonna guess it starts with a Q. Uh, maybe. Um, my name is Bando, you may know me from this channel. And, uh, today is the 23rd of May, 2022. There's a lot of twos, but don't be afraid because, uh, oh wait, there's one more stream in May, never mind. So, yeah, I hope you've all had a wonderful week. Uh, and that's about it. I think I, <laughs> I briefly spoke about Australian politics last time, and I'm gonna... Refrain from speaking about it, because I know some, some, not many, but some people are upset about the results. So just remember, next time. Anyways, uh, yeah, other than that though, I've had a, a pretty alright week. Um, I feel like, I feel like, here's a, here's a mildly personal note, I feel like I have gotten so lazy. Like, uh, my back starts aching, I feel like I'm sitting in my chair so much, so hold me to it. I'm gonna start, you know, doing some, some, uh, not sprints, but like fairly jogs. Because I'd, I'd usually walk around the house a bit, I'd, I'd, you know, practice musical instrument, um, you know, you walk here and there when you need to get to the groceries and stuff like that, but, you know, I gotta work up a sweat. And speaking of work up a sweat, I've got to- oh my gosh, this is going to be hard to cue timing. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of sweat, I'm going to be sweaty while I play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Let me just double check that the stream is cool. The stream is there. I can- I can call it a day, so that's cool. Uh, so in the last stream, uh, I'd hit halfway in the game. There's 60 stars, well there's 120 stars, there's 60 of them in my possession, and there's 60 of them left to go. I got a, I, also I got a blister on my th right thumb, so this is going to be a great fun stream where I'm pressing A right on it all the time. Um, everything's going wrong, I'm commenting about my weight, I'm getting like injuries, oh my gosh. Uh, that's, that's the most fun thing everyone wants to hear while doing a stream, they want to hear like, ah yes, the uh, the viewers, oh sorry, the, the, you know, the person making the stream is uh, mildly, you know, inconvenienced. I think I was commenting on like being ill a few weeks ago. You still like, your nerves will never tell you that you're perfect, but at some point you are good enough to go. And that's what I need to, like, get into. I need to, like, go, hey, you know. I was sick a while ago, but that's not an issue anymore. And speaking of not an issue anymore, seems that I, I theory, theoretically, I can, let's, let's, let's go for it. Let's get rid of the glasses. Let's call the, the Hungry Loomer in, because otherwise I'm never going to remember to do it if we go too far down. Looks like you found a Hungry Loomer. Hope you got a stack of Starbits, because those guys sure can eat. I have 12. Hundred in the bank. What kind of bank is this? Like, real talk. Do banks ever exist when you cannot? Like, so, sorry. Do banks ever exist where the bank actually doesn't do anything? Maybe you can have a state-funded bank that just physically does nothing. Actually, didn't we have that? Not a state-funded one. It was a federal. Commonwealth Bank was federally funded, wasn't it? And now it's not. Oh well. Feed me delicious star bits. I need all of them. We're feeding them ten at a time, apparently. Ten at a time. And there you go. That's a stuff. Oh, so full. I think I'm about to transform! Ow! And he spins around and goes into space where he will do something completely different compared to the other ones. That's right. Another galaxy. This one's a bit of a weird one, to be honest. I, I remember this one. Maybe I don't remember every bit of it, but I do remember it in theory. The Sweet Mystery Galaxy. So you remember that one idea that came up once? Yeah, they're doing it again. We have the Bulberry's Mysterious Glow. 
very mysterious. But yeah, no, I got a few things uh, I can mention today. Lots of lots of stuff in the news because we're nearing. Um, well, one Computex is right now. Is it Computex? I think it was Computex. Um, so I saw um, this would have been like four and a half hours ago. I don't think there's really anything to spoil, but AMD showed off uh, this mechanic, by the way. Oh, and, and just as I love the the ground is like this, like you know, texture with wave, you know, little biscuits, and then suddenly the texture changes when you move next to it with the bulb berry. It's very neat. But it does mean that we've got a bit of an interesting platforming section now. You can take some roots of faith. Oh. And then you spot that and you're like, huh? Eh? Oh, that this is a bit gutsy on timing. Oh. Nah. I didn't I didn't I didn't reconsider it. There you go, that's the sweaty gaming. First star, and I'm already sweaty dying, so that's good. But yeah, I can I can mention that right off the bat, so yeah, AMD Computex half hour presentation where they didn't really say a ton for us at the home and the and especially in the DIY crowd, but um I think that is not where you go. You want to go to where the bulb there is. At least they give you a respawning life there. Uh so that's alright. Um but yeah, they talked about uh Particularly the Ryzen 6000 CPUs that they've got in the works, uh, or rather not in the works because they're already out, for laptops. They're skipping 6000 when it comes to the um, desktops, they're going straight to 7000 because they're not the same architecture as the 6000s. Um, they also mentioned uh, one of them is uh, like a 4 core CPU with RDNA 2 graphics intended for Chromebooks. It was something neat. Uh, I might be saying a lot of techno babble to people who don't know. Uh, they have a, a name for the graphics architecture that they put in the, in the CPU, I guess. It might be a CPU if it's, uh, if they don't market it to, uh, you know, people wanting an actual graphics solution, but, I don't know, it's, it's confusing. Point is, it's a CPU for Chromebooks. It'll be neat if it's Good for the price point. We'll see how it goes. Um, oh, everyone loves having to press the buttons. I'm gonna have this guy chasing me the entire way, aren't I? And everyone loves these platforms, which look a little different this time. Like, I thought the platform itself shrunk, but it seems that the texture is staying the same over it. But I love the, you know, pancakes in the distance. Like, these little, little biscuits all over the place. Hit, uh, oh. oh, did I double hit the one at the top and I didn't even, I didn't even click in my head. I double hit it. Whoops. And there's a launch star around the middle. This will be fun to get to. Whoa. Whoa. We're good. We're safe. That's right. There's two planets. Wow. The big cake reveals. You, you can't see it though. It is a mysteriously bulb berry only cake. And I have ruined it for all of me because I thought you could jump into the candle. My brain is currently mush. I just want to remind everyone that. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely caking on, pun, the star bits. Like, there's a lot of star bits around this level, I'll tell you that. There we go. One more star under the belt. That's a, there's a pretzel in the back. There was a pretzel, ladies and gentlemen. There was a pretzel. Wow. See, why would you skip this hungry Luma when you could have seen the pretzel galaxy in the back? You would have been missing out. So, oh, really? oh, <laughs> Sergeant Mario can now dance. Yeah, you can do that instead of the super massive galaxy as well if you wanted to. You don't, you don't have to, but it's just neat. I feel like the Supermassive Gauss was about the same length, so nothing to really lose or gain there. So, uh, yeah, in the last stream, basically did about half of this. Actually, is that half or is that...
Okay, most of it, because this is the only other galaxy left. Chompox Galaxy. This is one that I absolutely love. The concept seems simple, but where the chumps are made of gold. Um, I, I love, by the way, this title because English capitalization, the and of the lowercase, but R, you gotta still uppercase it. It's a weird one. A is the same one. A and N. Yes. Oh, it's a Luigi level as well. It's been a while. Hey. Hey. Uh, but yeah, no, they showed off that. Um, the big, like, the only thing that I think, like, people don't really know of that they showed off, they showed off a, a Corsair laptop. Corsair are making a laptop. They've uh, got Elgato, who they own, to basically sneak in a, uh, a little extra row at the top because it's a streamer laptop. And I'm making this. I'm scratching my head a little because I'm going, how many streamers legitimately, like, face cam the laptop setup? I feel like if your hands are right, like, close to the camera, I don't know how many people legitimately use that. It feels a bit weird. Maybe if you're using an external keyboard, but you start getting into weird logistics of streaming on the go. I think, you know, any computer can really stream on the go. It's just how good's the camera on it, if you're gonna use your face. I think maybe it's gonna get the uh, intention of the kids, you know, like the young, the young kids who want that one product solution that gets them into a thing. I, I'm probably that one, that one kid at some point. Alright, now here's the gutsy thing, you gotta get this. But you can actually, like, keep going all the way if you want. Whoops. Don't, don't do that. Don't actually do that. So what was that, three deaths in, in 12 minutes? That's amazing. It's a new record. Alright. Once more with passion. Um, yeah, it, it's a weird one. I don't, I don't trust also that, uh, I might need coins, so I'm gonna confirm that I need coins. Those hungry loomers that need the coins, they, they really catch you off guard. Oh gosh, no! Why? Ah. Oh no! I'm terrible at this game all of a sudden. That's what it's been. It's been a whole week since I played it, and suddenly, yep. Yep, this is, this is my life now. This is woefully dreadful. Ah. Uh. But yeah, then the laptop, then they uh, forgot that they made graphics cards. They're a big company, I guess. Alright, there you go. So what you gotta do, you gotta flip the switch. It lowers the thing. And I am sailing off and my stick doesn't work because I was sailing off. Tom, people are gonna hate me. You are actually gonna hate me now because you've just seen the same thing three times. What's the what's the rule? It's like you can you can die humorously, and some people don't like, you know, maybe the complete like pro playthrough of not like messing up anything. I'm gonna chalk this up to Luigi on this one, but I don't know, man. I think this one's all me. All right, so now I go down directly. And then I proceed to not react to that guy who could have been killed. Oh, nope. So then, puzzle number two. You have to make sure you're lowering the platform. But also not standing directly in the line in the middle. That's a bit easy. Once there's a chomp in the socket, the launch star appears and continue on going. Look at that. You can finally see what the second planet in this galaxy looks like. What's he doing? Bring it on! Give me your worst! What a legend. There's actually not even the worst way to get some star bits, although it's, uh, it's a bit slow, but you know, generally the heart's in the right place. You don't even have to engage with it if you don't want to. And look at that! The chance to either fail or succeed. Oh, I got a coin. I got one of each. Ooh, that 
That Goomba could have clipped me, but I don't know. The game was feeling generous today. Amazingly. I mean, did it, did it see what was happening before? Uh, here's the... Here's also a little bit of a... A little bit of a secret, if I can do this before the thing comes up. It's a little extra spot up here. Where they totally deploy another chain chop if I'm not paying attention. But it's kind of cool, you can get a little, another little one-up up here. It's just like, it's so out of the way, but it's a fun little secret. Oh, did you think they they didn't like this mechanic enough? They wanted to bring it back. Uh, oh, there's a switch. There you go. Very dead. Alright. It was a little bit of a tricky, because... You gotta, you gotta manage a lot in order to get this to work. Alright. So you get the chomp to follow you. And you spin, and he's in the spot. And now they're teaching me how to, how to spin the Wii Remote. I... Wow. Big mystery. I guess there is no Angelina. Maybe it is just a two-star. There's a W for... You know. Who, who does W stand for? Alright. So hitting the button raises a platform. That should give you a bit of a guidance as to what to do. Little golden chomp comes out of the, the rear end there. The rear end? And then it immediately explodes into a million pieces. Alright, let's get him across. Around the bend. Another platform, let's lower it down. He's gone around the bend. He's coming back around, here we go. And you gotta basically boost him up. Where he will then come down and get one, one last kill under his belt. Wouldn't you know, he had a star. Is, are stars made of gold? Because, I mean, they said golden, and I know people use golden as in a color. Oh, there you go. What a wonderful star. Uh, yeah, they... yeah. yeah. So the meat and bones, AMD showed off uh, some details of the new uh, Ryzen 7000 desktop CPUs with no specific product names yet. Um, and in particular, the AM5 socket and the motherboards that will accompany it and some features such as PCIe 5 on most of the slots. Although I, I think Intel is probably the same boat. I got some cosmic ob jobs I need done. Slackers need not apply. If you're ready to work, come to Boulder Bowl Galaxy. Ah! Okay. We'll do the, we'll do the comment and then we'll come back for that. And Luigi is very happy. I'm all over the place these days exploring the universe. Let me tell you the exact same thing I say every time. Oh, Luigi. Never change. Uh, so, I guess the key thing is, uh, first of all, the IHS looks incredibly cursed. I don't know what's up with it. It's got these, like, really massive notches all over the place. Um, I know the Skylake X CPUs from Intel did the same thing, but... Yeah, it's kind of weird looking. I don't, I don't know, man. It's just... Bulberry's po Poipool Coin Glow. The Poipool Coin. Uh, so this is... Unfortunately, I think this is the same level, but it's like, you know, coins. At least I didn't give you a time limit. Yes. Collect every coin. It's a peaceful, peaceful one. If anything, is this camera angle different, or am I just misremembering. Yeah, it, might, it might be a different camera angle. So You get one pass. It's a camera angle that makes more sense when you're collecting purple coins, I guess. But you gotta get every coin. So you gotta go, you know, back and forth. I don't trust myself. Yeah. Uh, 
But yeah, the, so they're going to have DDR5 uh, support only, which is going to be a bit of a... bit of like a hard, you know, oof for some. And I, I, I think understandably, because I don't think DDR5 is quite there in terms of surpassing um, all performance barriers. It's definitely better when you need it. It's not as good in some cases when you don't need it. Like having memory latency is unfortunately uh, important for some and DDR5 doesn't quite support that yet. Um, maybe when the CPUs come out, it's actually, it's not gonna be a, a big problem. Um, Cause still, when, when are the CPUs out? I think they did say fall in the US though, which would be this year. In fact, actually, in a few months, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, and uh, they'll also support PCIe 5, except on B660, 650, uh, which is the lower end one. Uh, it will not support it for the graphics card. Now, that's okay, because I don't think there are any PCIe 5 graphics cards, and I don't think anyone is particularly going to go near them for a bit. Maybe, maybe someone will use them, but you know, at least right now, no one is, so that's okay. Um, but definitely for storage. Storage seems to be just, like, fast going. It seemed like in 2015, you know, you'd get an SSD. You'd get, like, a little tiny SATA SSD. It's, like, 250 gigs, but it's like, oh, you can put your operating system on, and that's it. And now we're at the point where it's like, okay, well, you can have, like, full computers that are a 2 terabyte. SSD, but they're also not just that form factor, but the, the M.2 stick formats, and so they sit nicely, and they're also using your PCIe lanes instead of SATA, so they're suddenly, you know, really fast. They've got much more direct access to everything. Um, and, uh, it, it's, it's, and then it's like, oh, and PCIe 4, so we can double the bandwidth easily. So we've got drives out there right now that, you know, can read and write at 7,000 megabytes a second that you can, you can just buy, and I'm like, that is a crazy fast development from, you know, whatever was initially there. And now we're talking about just bringing in PCIe 5 ones. You're gonna literally have double the bandwidth again. And speaking of literally double the bandwidth, here's literally double the stars for the same boss. Because it's a Daredevil run. Yeah, I could have done without a Daredevil run in this game, actually. But yeah. Yeah. Moral of the story is, computer parts are crazy. They they just, they keep moving. Don't you know when to quit? I'm gonna enjoy taking you out from the cozy confines of my robot cockpit. He did not stop saying that word. So, I don't know if I took a hit on this guy last time. So, this will be a rehash. I love the music though. Let's see if I've done that right. Nope, I haven't. Cool. Whoa. Easy hit. Easy hit. Okay. Alright. So yeah, moral is computer parts are going really fast, and I feel like some of this exceeds uh, what consumers particularly use. I think it's very neat, but it's also just like, man, yeah, like, oh, I should have, I should have soaked up a, a bullet bill and said, now I've got to rely on the back ones. There you go. Uh, let's find. There we go. Right, let's, just, let's just get another back one. Why not? It's not a particularly tricky boss, because he, he, I mean, he doesn't really hit you in any way other than the bullet bills. I think at this point, maybe it gets a little tricky. A, a ring-shaped fight like this makes me, like, sometimes feel like he's gonna, you know, hit the hammers on your head. I didn't think I had the timing on my side, so I decided to just jump it. Yeah, I was like, is he gonna come around? Nope, not yet. I 
because he does two of these. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta brace yourself. You gotta be patient. It'll all work out. Alright, once more. Yeah, that's right. I apparently died like four times on Chopworks, but apparently this is fine. This is perfectly fine. Oh! Team Bowser's blasting off again. Uh, where is... Okay, I was like, where is the closest Slingstar? Because notice how there's one here. There's one... Oh! Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah, computer parts are spooky. And they're getting more affordable, to some degree, but... You always get that, that hold. Uh, that fear that, oh, if I'm not getting the latest and greatest, am I missing out? I can guarantee, for every latest and greatest that you miss out on, and, like, legitimately don't get as part of the next gen, there's also a latest and greatest that, like, no, man, you were not missing out on. You, like, feel good that you did not invest too deeply into LGA 1200, for example. Unless you did, because it's a nice, like, it's a socket, there's nothing really too much about it, and if you buy one CPU for it, cool. But, unless you expected it to last, like, a long time. In which case, not as much. And speaking of lasting a long time, this guy has been asking for us to visit him for at least two stars. That's a pretty, that's a pretty impressive feat. Oh, the boulders on that screen, Ooh. So let's head into the first star again. This is only available once you get the message, so don't worry about me doing it this late. This is Rock and Roll Dillo, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh boy. I'm trying to remember the call off the top of my head. It's a big rock. Okay. I was like trying to recall off the top of my head, like what, what was the, the pacing on this level? I, I think there's a pipe somewhere on the second planet, I think, I think, maybe, we'll, we'll double check, we'll confirm. And we'll break this guy's rock that had the comet metal, even though there's no need to show the comet metal. I've already done the comet, I don't need to, I don't need to get the metal again. What is it, you burn the comet metal? Maybe. Yeah, because Computex just started, there's more to... Um, get mildly excited about later on, so that'll be okay. Um, yeah, also, like, <laughs> they didn't really actually show a product that you could buy. I think they're just kind of getting you a bit hyped for the next platform. Um, which might be alright, but... Oh. Oh. Very, very dangerously close to the edge here. There we go. Oh, oh. oh, he spits two of them. Two of them, how dare you. Alright, let's get him with a clean hit. Not clean in any way, shape, or form. But, sure. Oh, he's moving on me. That's the trouble, when you lose your spin, suddenly your your entire game changes. Well, I guess he might be on the second planet? I'm now scratching my head, because I'm thinking like, when did... Oh, if you need else, should... Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, here he is! Here he is, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just chilling here. He's golden, looking for a star? You won't believe it, I found a star in the trash the other day. The things people throw away. Maybe we can work out a trade. I'm really into collecting those... <laughs> those guys. I think you could bring me one? So this is a... This is a bit of a cursed one. You got all these boulders, all this stuff around, including chomps. And you gotta get back a Goomba. Where's the Goomba chillin'? Uh, where is the Goomba Is he mining for his glasses? I can't see a thing without my glasses. Hope they're safe. My goodness. Can't believe it. Now, 
Okay, so the Goomba is not in the Chain Chomp. Can confirm. So where is the Goomba hiding? Maybe he's in one of these. Yeah, okay, there he is. So now I just gotta get him into the spot without him getting crushed by the Chain Chomp. I think this is going to be my opening. No, 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 get, get, get in there. Hey, there you go. Hey. Ooh, look at this adorable little guy. So cute and ferocious. Thanks. Here you go. ahead and have the star. Go on, take it. You deserve it. Wow. You, you think you could have found a better place to get a Goomba like anywhere else? There was one singular Goomba. Whoop, oh, there goes the chomp. Sailing past my peripheral vision. Oh, look at that, we're on the other side of the planet already. And that galaxy is now complete, so. And, and quite a fair bit of star bits. And some coins, why not? Good measure all around. Oh boy, tell me you didn't bring back a Gimo with you this time. Well, put it somewhere out of the way. Maybe you'll want to relax for a bit? Alright, alright, gotta get the good luck. Gotta get the good luck. Yes! I was going for the start it, so. Alright, what's the Gimo want to say? He's having some tea. Hi, uh, thanks again for all your help. Take this one up. Oh, pff, sure, I guess. Please. So I think. Oh wait, there's still another star in um. And, uh. Chomp works. So, but that's that. Well done. There's still one lingering comet going on in there, and uh, we'll have a few more comets going on in here. But for the time being, we've got one more star in Chomp works, and we can continue on. So, spring into the chomp works. That's right. That's right. Did, I, did anyone forget this item? I guess it's me. Like, this item's presence in the game. Also, by the way, no, no, like, I think every Luigi level lacks power ups. Yes. No, 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 no. I had Cloud Mushroom on one of them. I take it back. I was thinking, like, man, Luigi's been avoiding the power up, like, ones a bit. So, you can spring to it. So, you don't get the platforms here. You got the transform to Spring Mario. Press A at the right moment to bounce high. Boing! Everyone's favorite item from the first game, except not really. But it does let you get up the slope, so they do have that. Now you could be gutsy and go for that one. I'm not. You saw what happened last time without the spring. So, same planet yet again. He is. He is still going. Bring it on! But this time you have to you have to get good at the spring. You get a pretty generous amount of time with jumping over. So it's not the worst. But it's pretty bad. It's also, I think, unnecessary. Yeah, it's entirely unnecessary. But his mate's gone as well, so good on him there. Wait, why did I why did I even use the spring? I'm now I'm now scratching my head going, what what is the point of the spring? Like I guess you're not Luigi. So the jump is a little bit more, you know, wild, but you can just go one, two, three. One, two, I'm doing two on a spin instead. Two, three. You're up here, and then just whoop. Just wild jump. Ah, why did I move left? Why did I move left? Chompworks is apparently the biggest killer of Italian plumbers. I swear. I, did I say I love this level? I hate this level now. It's absolutely aggravating. Cannot, cannot taste it. Cannot stand it. Ah, uh, that's probably what happened. That is probably exactly what happened. But I'm thinking like, yeah, you don't need to spring for any of that. Look at how they even got a chomp in there. Now, everyone likes, uh, 
bouncy platformers, so here's a, a bouncy section for you. It's rather annoying because, you, you know, you can see how much you struggle to, you know, to move laterally as Spring Mario. Why'd they bring this back? I don't know, man. But not the Ice Flower. The Ice Flower is too much. Uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm, I'm going off the edge, down the slope. Yeah. Okay. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Easy. First try. No problems, apparently. You got a star. Wow. Well, Mario's happy about that, so... 66! A fun number. Is it fun? Who knows? Oh, we got the comet right away. How neat. So look at that! It's very reflective. Wait, 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 this is a, uh, a spring, huh? So you wear that? Does it make a big boing sound when you poke it? I was expecting a pun, and he kind of let me down there. I'm sorry, Blubber. Maybe, maybe I should give the ship back to you. You're a bit too nice, but oh, how do you get up here so quick? So yeah, uh, the upcoming month of June is also an exciting time because we get to watch E3. In no wait no, we don't get to watch E3. They cancel E3. We get to watch what people put in place of E3 because. They were kind of doing that already. Cosmic clones and the chomp works. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, no, this is going to be a bit of a weird E3 season because no one's bound to like dump all their information in the same week. Like, people might actually space it out. Yes. Look at that, it's a comet where you can play as Luigi. Uh, there you go, Kessa, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, but E3 is going to be an interesting time. Because, well, uh, not E3. What are we going to call it? The game announcement season, we'll just call that. There's a lot of games out there, you know, that are still yet to see the light of day. Um, so this is the same, like, just bit at the end of this level, but... You gotta now deal with the Cosmic Clones, which is uh, a bit of a doozy, so let's start by walking across here, just getting this lowered, and let's go around. You can see that they're, they're, they're spawning a lot of these clones. Oh, I hope I lowered that enough. Done. Take two. Uh, okay, I'm good. I think that, yeah, it looks like there's only so many, though. There you go. Okay. Alright, here we go. Now this one, you gotta time it well. Alright. There we go. Easy money. I thought he was green last time. And there goes all the Cosmic Clones. It's a... It's at least a twist. It's at least a twist that'll put you on your feet, but... Yeah, generally, that's a... That's a simple star. Luigi's happy about it, though, so... Good on him. Very happy about it. Jeez. And that galaxy is complete, and a ghost has appeared, and I got some starbits, and I got some coins. And Luigi's gonna tell me if I, if, you know, if I see him anywhere else. You know, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pass on the offer, Luigi, so. So here's a question, what exciting games are there going to be? Who knows? D does anyone remember the Breath of the Wild 2 sequel? They're just calling it that, and it's gonna have a different name, and everyone's gonna completely 
have trouble finding all the old articles written about it because they didn't give a proper name. They just said it's it's the next Zelda. So that's fun, isn't it? Oh, I got a creepy crawly in the cr corner of my room, and I know that if I don't get him right now, I'm actually like never going to find him again. So hold on, this this calls for we've got some bug extermination time right now. I see you, creepy crawly. Get that creepy crawly, get him! I gave him the old one too. He's now all completely toast. Yeah, they have like bugs crawl around your room all the time. That's just an Australia thing, isn't it? The worst part about bugs is that like... I don't think they're gross, necessarily. Like, yeah, th there's some really gross bugs out there, but like... Generally the stuff that gets in your house are never like the tons of gross ones. But it's like... Yes. I hate the idea of like, you know... <laughs> getting touched by something that moves... When you don't expect it. That's it. Because like, I, I feel like I'd get the same feeling... Um, you know, by like an alarm clock that moves. Which I guess is the intention of the alarm clock, but... Yeah, uh, this is a definitely a Bowser level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this because I know I'm gonna need it. Okay, okay, I'm doing a good job of getting hit every single time possible. This this level probably ties into the idea of um uh you're, oh oh. But you remember when, uh, yeah, Nintendo was going real hard into the, let's make a, a 3D Mario game that plays like a 2D Mario game. And I feel like there's a lot of design elements in this game that are just that. In fact, this actually, like, does this not feel like a castle level from the original Mario Bros? We've got fire bars, we've got these, you know, inexplicable bricks everywhere. There's a little bit of the crazy gravity, sure. There's a little bit of that, but... You know, in general, it's got the vibe. They really want to play the crazy gravity card this time, don't they? It's good fun as well. Makes the level kind of interesting. And then, just let's keep going. We got we got water, space water. Let's see if I can get all the coins. Oh, I've got a giant air bar kind of in the way. Look at that, it's an old-school Mario level, except it's got the Mario 64 music. Although, when you think about it, Mario 64 came out in 1996, which was 11 years after Super Mario Bros. This game came out 14 years after Mario 64. So, really, if it's twice, like, if the first game in the series, or if the first... I, that is... you can jump further that direction. Okay. But, like, think about it, if... Does it count as classic, if the first game is, you know, closer to the comparison point than the comparison point is to now. Possibly. I guess my comparison is the, uh, the NES came out, or rather the Famicom came out in 83, didn't it? Like, Super Mario Brothers was a nice pack-in, but it was not the launch title, um, in Japan, was it? I gotta confirm that, but this planet throws me off. Because if you keep going, you just send yourself. But there's lives everywhere in this level. How many lives were there? That was so many lives. Um, yeah, no. So the, the like, yeah, Famicom will just say came out in '83, and right now it's 2022. Let's just round up. It's 2023. That's nearly 40 years ago. And what was halfway? 2003. Start picking everything that you've, you know, you enjoy that came out in 2003 and go, that's closer to the launch of the Famicom disc system than now. Like my favorite game of all time, Metroid Prime. That's a 2002 game. That's, you know, it's right on the cusp. It's bound to be there now. It's, it's just a fun comparison point. I don't think there's really anything to it. Um, and speaking of anything to it, is this chair. Th there's no one in it. The loom is on the lookout. 
I wonder where Bowser is. Uh, it turns out I was above the chair. I should have just looked there. Why, well, it's you! Well, I'd expect as much from my arch nemesis. Your time is up, Mario. Now it's smushing time. And time for my huge fist to meet your puny face. It is kind of big. Kind of unfortunately, it's the uh, exact same fight. But maybe with a little bit of difference. He now has a bigger punch. I think it's bigger. It makes a ring. He's now gonna punch again. It's just a hand, I don't think there's anything to it. And then he thinks, nah, the meteors are the attack. But they all make these rings now, so they're not as easy to pull off. Oh, ooh. I didn't I didn't time that one right, that's okay. You get, you get the gist, it's the same the same deal. I think it's a little bit more difficult, although he gets hand he gets his hand stuck in the, the ground like a bit too much. There you go. I'm keeping myself up now. Takes the hit, doesn't enjoy it, but that's okay because now he's going to punch this little tiny planet again. If he's that big, the little tiny planet has to, you know, hurt a bit. You're punching, you know, stone in this case. He's definitely throwing it off. Oh. There you go. Ooh. Oh, that was an easy fight. Now I'm angry. Oh, he's going straight for the meteors. But now he's also going for fire bar. It's a pretty hard attack. I, I don't mind it. Again. It's a bit of an off kilter attack, but sure, we'll go with that. I am right. I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Very tall jump. Very tall order jump. Alright, he's gonna punch. He's gonna Bowser punch. How do you eat that? That's like a choking hazard. You remember when they put like... I, that was a Simpsons episode on this one, but it was like... You remember when they put like things in the cereal? Like physical... I, that was a... That was a hilariously late start it. Wow. My master plan is about to not be stopped. Or something. He said something like that. Okay. Well. Good thing there's gravity. Because... That would have been a bit hard to, to reach that star. May I just add, this is a very nice pattern here. It's really fancy, and I think, like, everyone misses it because you don't stand here normally. And then you just immediately go, ooh, star. You just hold forward. But looky here, person who made that texture. I looked at it. I appreciate it. You did a good job. There are, there's like, there's a crazy amount of like, assets and, and things, like, I guess the stuff that never ends up on the, on the disc, and then the stuff that ends up on the disc but never shows up in game. But then the things that are there, but just no one notices them. Like, there's a bajillion textures and models and sounds as well. Sound is probably the one that I think everyone gets like, no credit for. For example, what is that sound going on in the back? Is that the portal? It's gonna stop at some point. Yeah, it's the portal, so. Great work there, pal. You did it. You found the fourth Grand Star. You fought that monster again? You look a bit more banged up than last time. He's getting stronger, eh? We need to stop him before he gets any more powerful. Alright then, let's hit it on the double, Captain. Rinse and repeat. It's the same <laughs> it's the same thing over and over again, but. That's okay, because we're getting we're getting closer to the end. Closer. Through the portal, once more, into a brand new world. The, the music is ominous, the layout is kind of confusing. 
This place, it looks like it might be pretty well protected. I bet you we're moving right in on the enemy's home base. What do you say we drop in unannounced? Maybe the baddies will have snacks for us when we show up. All right, it's all you, Captain. He flew so far out to tell me. So, the Space Storm Galaxy. It's, it's like the Battle Rock Galaxy, I guess, if anyone remembers that one. So, follow me, Babom. But yeah, we're starting to get into, you know, not, it's, it's not the last world, but it's definitely, you know, there. I love this song. Very, song, piece, composition? Well, it's not the composition, because it's also the performance, coupled with it. We got Pulsar, so that was cool. We got this, like, weird, you know, tubular level, I guess. But I think what what's great about this this song is that uh you know what's what's the term? You've just got that like rhythmic stress constantly going on. A little bit of a little bit of a sting with the bum 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 like a little bit of that going on. I appreciate there's a bottom, but then you can just you know come out the other side as well. I'm gonna jump for this and then half regret it. Oh, hey. And then you get that, you know, that motif ascending all of a sudden. And it doesn't quite stick to a tonality, but it's dramatic as. I think what makes it work is that they're relying on fifths. Mostly, like, intercord. Intercord? That's a... Very close to a bad word. Um... It's, it's not even a bad word, but it's just one that... Uh, Twitch is saying a no to. Also, I, I've now... I've now accepted what's going on. So the bomb's under there. He's following you. And you've gotta make sure he doesn't do that. You gotta make sure he doesn't do that. But he's all the way down there, but it's... It's kinda neat, because I remember, like... I feel like the the earliest games that were doing this kind of thing, where you you know you guide something through you know through a place but you can't see. I feel like the earliest examples of doing that were unintentional, if that makes sense. Breaking glass, it's battle off. This planet, I don't know what's up with it, man. It's effectively just a flat planet. It's just they made it wide. Also, they brought back the Topmans because, of course, they did. I can't even get the Sarvits. You seen that? Oh, I can't even get to the end of this area. I'm really using the lives this time. Maybe, maybe I will be using the lives so much later on. Maybe. They make this bit really tricky. Like it is connected there. It guides you along, but it's not quite right. And then, uh. Little lightning shooters, I guess. Pull yourself along with the the pool stars, and hopefully you don't get completely annihilated. But should be all right. I, I assume if he gets out, you just fall like you know, back down to the right. And uh, yeah, that that's that's kind of it. Oh no, you go. You go down, you you go down. That's not it. That wasn't it. That, that was anti it. Oh. I my controller. <laughs> I was probably my Bluetooth signal and not the controller necessarily. Whatever happened to wired controllers? Don't say USB C. That's, that's the easy answer. But man, like, I feel like Nintendo, like, if there's one thing, they've not done the wired controllers for a while. You can't even, like, can you plug in a pro controller via the wire, and does it actually communicate over the wire? Oh, for, for reference, so it fits in the 
I, I, I keep shaking my left hand. I, I, I even mentioned this on the last stream. I keep shaking my hand sometimes, even though I'm talking with my voice. There is no need to shake my hands because no one will notice it. But then, oh look, I, the nunchuck detected a shake and I broke out of the thing and I'm an idiot. Just, I start to show my age so hard. There you go. I say that and then people go like, yo man, like, you're not that old, and I'm like, I know, That's, that makes it worse. Call me old, because then at least, then at least my blunders feel okay. I am being chased by a lot of very loud lightning. Or is it the thunder part? The thunderballs, if I was listening out for them. Sailing into space. Except not, we're out of space. There's so many little swirlies over there. They're their own galaxies, except they're not like just like two planets floating out in space because there's no sun. There's, there's no stars. Kind of, kind of makes it a bit hard there. So yeah, you're seeing what this world is, but basically... You've just gotta, you can just go straight to Bowser if you wanted to. Or Bowser Jr. You, you, you get the gist on that one. Um, as long as you did that level. And that's a, that's a kind of interesting note, is that, yeah, like, what is the required levels here? It's just that one. And you might have a lot of people. There's people out there who don't 100% this game. To the top of Topman's Tower, Topman's Tower, wait a minute. Um, but yeah, like, there's bound to be a lot of people out there who have beaten uh, these Mario Collectathons, but didn't get every star. And that's, that's always a fun bit, is trying to go... What's the stars that most people, like, got on the way? Of course we're going to use the boy base galaxy, and of course I'm not going to mention the number of stars I've got. Hit this, and suddenly, we slow down time. You remember that was, like, a, a mechanic on a singular star in Galaxy 1, also boy base. In fact, this planet kind of reminds me of that. And it's raining, so even better. But yeah, it's a speedy, fast galaxy, but... Hit the exclamation marks and everything goes slow-mo. It's a very neat concept and I'm glad that they've uh, brought it back briefly. I don't think I need the switch, but... Although those are some pretty fast rings, I'll tell you that. Someone's probably going to make it a challenge to beat this whole level without using the, um, the switches at all. You know, if this ever hits retro achievements or something. There's some fast chompers. Also, uh, is that the lightning guy? What color is he? Yeah, he is. I want to see if there's enough, like, space to wall jump over here. Yeah, there totally is. Oops. Let's go fast on this one. Why not? Oh, that's why not. <laughs> Once more with feeling. There you go. This is gonna be this is gonna be kinda inter oh. Nah, I, I I think it's a no-go. There's also coins. I think it's kinda neat that like Mario himself remains the normal color. Ooh. Am I having a fun time with jumping up here? Now of course this is Topman's Tower, so we have to kill the Topmans who don't actually get slowed down, despite not having the color, but sure. Bounce off him, and uh, cry because I didn't center him. That's okay. There's some kind of quick stars though, weren't they? Hey, go, nope, nope, still no. Still no. Alright, here we go, one last, one last try. That wasn't one last try. Put the ring too close, man. There you go. <laughs> the ring is too close. That's okay, because we got another star. Woo. Oh, Blubber's hearing something. Oh, goodbye, 69. You were fun while it lasted. 
people were just waiting for that. They were waiting for how, how long I was holding on to Star 69. Okay. Uh, so that's Space Storm Galaxy uh, almost done. Like, you, you'll know where it goes. How much for the Hungry Luma? 1500. I have not. Well, I've got a little bit in the bank, but I'm going to need to do some more levels. Actually, I'm curious if within 80 stars, within 10 more stars, if uh, I'll have room to do the Bowser level or not. I definitely know next stream I think I will. Like, you know, the Bowser level comes a bit, a bit fast at the end, so. Silver stars pop up. This is the Boo Moon Galaxy. I love this galaxy and people keep forgetting it's in this game and not Galaxy 2. People will cite it and I'm like, no, 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 it's Galaxy yes. 2. So of course, we've got these massive walls. Can't wall jump. It'd be too easy. It'd be too easy. There's even a ceiling just to make sure you don't try and go too high. But we've got a ghosty maze and a ghosty maze where if you keep doing this, the camera rotates. Does it? Ah, that probably fixed it. But we've got booze all over the place. What's the rule with mazes? You follow the left wall and you get to the... You know, to the bit where you gotta kill the pumpkin. What are these guys called? Pumpka Goombas? I got him. I even got the coin. Look at that, lots of coins. That was a fairly successful bonus round. It's been a bit since the bonus round showed up, didn't it? Ah, uh, well here's a star. Is there something I missed or... I'm gonna peruse around just to make sure that the comet metal wasn't casually down another... another co corridor. Nope, nope, I guess that was it. But the booze are not gonna make it a fun time. They're nice and glowy though. This is exactly like booze looks really weird in this, on Mario Sunshine. Someone's gonna rip me for that one, but legit, they look very odd. They look great in Galaxy One in particular. I don't know. There's just something about making sure that like things were smooth enough. A lot of Mario enemies love being round, and in their kind of oddly polygonal days, even the GameCube. Sometimes it's a bit weird, which is it's strange because they got Mario fairly right in Mario 64. He's a lot more lean now, but I don't know, like it wasn't too bad. I was about to drop down, or no, they're just gonna stay up there. Also, wow, so many one-ups. I love this little. Such a cool effect. I also like how these blocks didn't rotate. It's just a nice visual effect. Once more. Now this is a fun combo battle to get because it goes whoop, whoop. <laughs> you could be the kind of guy who keeps going as well. We got a speedy one. We got a speedy one. It goes fast. It goes really fast. Wow. But it snakes around, it gives you an opportunity to not get killed. And there's a star over here. This is not the star, by the way. That is a secret star. It's just casually there. And all it takes is for you to notice that there's a platform beyond the launch star. That is a legitimate secret. And when people say this game is linear, yeah, but it's also like that. That is a secret. That is a nice, fun secret. Can I just say that? I don't know. I'm now, I'm now decrying hypothetical people who I probably... I don't know, man. It's the internet. Anything goes, apparently. So... I got one last thing to mention uh, on my list of random things to, to bring up. Uh, I'm looking through YouTube analytics, as you do, and there's a feature on it called Research. And it says, explore what viewers are searching for on YouTube. Use this tool to research some of the top searches from your viewers on your channel and across YouTube in the last 28 days. So you can... So there's a, a thing that says... Also, hi, Luigi. Hey. Maybe it's because I did A-Star? I don't know. He wasn't here before, but I'll take it. Yeah. Um, so there's a search box that says searches across YouTube, and you can search for a term, and I guess it tells you how popular it is. So if I just type... Uh, the obvious one on my channel would be Toy Story, um, 
two, I'm going to say in particular. Um, if I type that, it will come up with Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story Full Movie, Toy Story 1, When She Loved Me, I don't know. I think that's the song, that's the song. So, okay. Then there's another tab called Your Viewer Searches. Now, I don't search anything in this one. It just comes up with a bunch of results based on what my viewers have, like, tried searching for and I assume then watched my videos. Uh, I would have expected... There is Toy Story Toys, I see that. So, like, there's people finding my videos based on searches for Toy Story. I, I mentioned Toy Story just because, like, that is where most of my YouTube views do come in. So I'm just expecting it. Um, but the first thing that shows up is Dance, Dinosaurs, Dream SMP. Uh, I guess that's one that's... I don't... I did do, like... I think I have, like, a couple of Minecraft videos on my channel, but, like, a couple. Fish Tank, Kindergarten, Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, Recycling, and then there's got this next one, flagged with Content Gap. How to pay electricity bill by Google Pay. You don't want to fall in the, the blue goop. It's not fun. I love this fold. I love this, like, storybook, like, turnover. It's great. It's such a cool effect. Um, but yeah, it's it's weird. I can I can read out the next. Oh, I'm go, I'm gonna hit next on the page. It's only three pages. Pokemon Team Rocket. Okay, I did Pokemon once, twice actually, uh, two and a half times. It wasn't really hard. Uh, Citroen C4. Sally Exe. Is that a creepy part where I don't know of? I love Happy Moon. Happy Moon here as well. Uh. Caracal hissing. One day you will have to answer for your actions. That is one singular result. Present roll recipes. World's oldest person. Snake versus cat. Xbox 360 slim. PS2 memory card. I got one more like page of this. USB C. Studio tour. Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh. Also, I, I love this bit down here, so you got a button, and when you hit the button, it's another pop-out kind of thing. It's a really neat idea. Now, it's only up for a little bit of time. And I put all these star bits up the top just to, to really rub it in your face, but... Oh. That was a really good jump, wow. Uh, Toy Story Train. That legitimately could be one. Biggest Rat. Hamster Scared. Amtrak Chicago to San Francisco. Cats carrying kitten. Birthday card ideas for dad. Citroen C4 2022. That's right, the Citroen C4 appears twice. And Hypervolt 2. That is the, all the things it's told me that when people click my videos, this is other things they're interested in. It's not a, like, it's a bit of a weird one because it's like, barely any of that is actually related to my videos. Luigi, I have a letter for you! You think it's weird that Luigi's got the task for? Help one out, I've got a few odds and ends I need taken care of. If you do not mind a little hard work, find me on Space Storm Galaxy. That's right, the one before. So we gotta go back. Back to the beginning again. But yeah, like, these trends, or these searches, like, what, what do I, as a user, actually do with it? And then the best part, you can save them. I can click on it and go save, remove, or report. Or go to Google Trends, which is just like, that's the line you'll see on like, know your meme that people pretend means that, oh, people care about this issue. And it's like, no, it's because it's people wrote about it and people are just searching for it. It, it, does, it doesn't necessarily mean the issue is more talked about than before or less talked about. 1409. Well, I'm not 1500 yet, but he's got the glasses back, so. That's all right. Uh, and there's one lingering star, so... Let's just go back. Let's go back for it. A couple of three-star galaxies. And no comet as well, when it's a three-star galaxy like that. But, uh, yeah, the comet medals will come into play later. Don't worry. So, back to follow me, Babom, but this time... With an extra challenge. Let me get to hear this music again, why not? Well, I could talk over it. 
Yeah, no, YouTube is a bizarre system because they're constantly appealing to advertisers. This is uh, me complaining about YouTube. This isn't really a complaint as much, but it, it's it's a you know a perspective. I guess I'm just gonna say like it's the things that I feel after you know, using YouTube for way too long. Um, but YouTube is like it's a bizarre beast because it's the hip trendy things that I always like upload your videos to but it's also incredibly advertiser centric and not saying it's always been because back in the whole you know it's just using google search results to, to index you know videos back in that day there's nothing really too much about it you know there's nothing you can't do advertiser friendly well, sorry, how do I say it? Like, like it's not an advertiser-centric platform when, you know, you just find videos. But now because it's, you know, driven by engagement, driven by, um, you know, getting, getting ads to people in the easiest way possible, uh, and the most efficient way possible, and the most targeted way as possible, um, it's definitely a lot different than it used to be. Uh, and, and, and YouTube has continually tried to provide features that support that. But it's also been... Where's the guy? Is he at the end of here? Because I'm thinking... Oh, there he is. He's a silvery one now. Or it's platinum. And he's, like, actually fancier. You're searching for that star, right? I found one of those things at the garbage dump earlier. But hold on. There ain't no such thing as a free lunch. Or a free star. You know, I just love those red guys. See if you can get one of them to come over here. Second star, same as the Zar? Same as the... Oh. I am... I am particularly good at not doing this. So, this actually requires you to get the bomb and throw it in the right spot, and that is not... Is that... I don't think it's close enough. Oh, it just is. But you're gonna need that. All these little yellow guys, though, they're gonna keep spawning in, and they're gonna give me a hard time. Get it out of there! Whoops. Alright. At least you can't fall down pits, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a, a rethink on my strategy here. Whoop. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's coming fast. Now oh, he's a bit naked. He's charging through everyone, apparently. Come on, come on, come on, come on, little guy. Come on. Get him, get him down, come on. Uh, but yeah, nah, YouTube is, is a weird thing to, to, to tame. And, uh, wow! Oh, so cute, thanks! He's got much fewer polygons now, he's not spinning around. Which is weird, because, like, he's not, like, motion blurring, is he? It's just... It's just 60 FPS. It's just the natural... Being able to render fast means you don't need motion blur. In the same way as rendering with a high resolution means you don't need anti-aliasing. So... Yeah, no, YouTube's weird, um, and yeah, like, every single new feature with YouTube is just, it's always to pull an advertising, or at least to drive engagement, because, uh, if it's not advertising, it's, uh, having good numbers that will make investors want to put money in your system. When people say YouTube doesn't have a profit, it's like, well, yeah, but Google gets, like, investment. People like putting money into things just to see it grow. Sometimes not necessarily to even get a return. Although Google certainly does get a return, but... You know, if YouTube grows, Google grows. That's that's the gist. It's just that YouTube itself is... You know... On its own. Hey, show a helper back there. Take this one up. Wow. Oh, I ran into a chimney. Or rather, I jumped into a chimney. I jumped at the chimney, rather. Uh, well, there's that galaxy. We got the crown. Let's get another crown. Why not? Here we go. Back to the boom moon to get one last star. So 
so haunting the howling tower the towering howler what a spooky looking level and would you look at that a power up how many stars in oh, like, are we 73 yeah we're 73 stars in and here is yet another new power well, it's, it's from the last game but it's it's relatively new um this level looks the same, but I believe, uh, I'm, still gonna, I'm gonna ignore that one, it's, just, it's too much work going back to that, man. So I think if we keep going around, this, yeah, this opens up in a different way. It's a little Bowser Jr. statue to tell you that you're going somewhere else. You getting lost yet? Me too. But it's a Bowser statue, so there's another landmark. And that is a dead end landmark. I appreciate this landmark. Cool. If I go this way, I got a one up. You just can't eat. They even have a picture on the wall to tell you, hey, it's a one up. Must be this way then. Okay, there's another one. I, I would like to get the one up. It'd be funny. Because, yeah, if I wander too far back, then I'm back at the Bowser Jr. statue, and I'm just, like, back at the beginning, so... Let's wander back around. Maybe there's something to do with the Bowser statue. There's the Bowser statue. Oh, there's a bookshelf, and I just didn't push the bookshelf. How could I be so callous in my calculation? And there's a pipe. A little pipe. And now we're inside the mansion? Maybe. It's nice and sunny outside though, so. And here we are. The Boo Mario. You shake the worm up to vanish. It's straight out of the first game. They don't really tell you about the spamming A to jump, but I assume yeah, they're gonna give you the lowdown. Boo Mario works surprisingly well in 2D, and I don't think they ever did use him in 2D in the first game. It's kind of bizarre actually, just being able to reuse these mechanics, but, you know, provide a very different context for them. Just making the levels 2D does mean that, you, you know, you can do some kind of more, you know, tighter, closer level design. Of course, you don't want to get hit. It's not good for your health. I think Mario's already dead though, so... Why has why he got the Pac-Man siren going off? Why has he got that? I don't know. Other than that, it's a smooth sailing move to the, to the star kind of thing. There's nothing really too much about it, it's just a, a fairly straightforward platforming level. But you know what? There's nothing too wrong with it. There you go, fly to the top, oh, fly to the top, fly- oh my gosh, that's a fair bit of a climb. Right to the top, and you get the star. A wonderful star for a wonderful day. D daytime in the, in the spooky manor, I guess. There we go. And that galaxy is now complete. 986. What's a what's a good fun number for 986? What do we have here? Looks like a soft white mushroom, eh? You know, the stuff you're finding is pretty weird. But I guess that's just the universe we live in, right? That could be more profound if it wasn't coming from Blubber. But sure, you know, I'll accept it. Okay, so some exciting times. Some more more galaxies. More stars. I got a few to choose from, so I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with the Upside Dizzy. I think it's one of the two star galaxies. But... Will be kinda of neat. Kinda of interesting. Let's see. A walk on the weird side. Maybe... Maybe I'll find another weird power-up. Or maybe it'll just be a galaxy entirely filled with the weird gravity. I don't mind it. It'll be kinda of cool. Another one of these, where it's like, there's a big mansion on the outside, pipe, and suddenly, it's not really a galaxy anymore, it's just, uh, 
one planet. I think the music is slightly different to the, the kind in the previous level. Ah, it's different when you go in the other gravity. Oh, this one's a fun one if you can get the timing right, so you just do that. And you can go up the pipe. Where we've now got to do some, uh, box surgery. Oh, but the co the coins don't, don't, uh, don't move with you. This is a bit fun when you don't have to, you don't have the ability to spin, so, uh, I'm gonna proceed to pick up the coins. Did you just see that, by the way? Hold on, let me let me try and do that again. Did the boxes disappear because I jumped too high, or no? Okay. No, it's just the edge of the screen. I am going insane. I did that. I did it once, actually. Um, the uh, during the um, if anyone watched the Spanish Grand Prix, uh, or actually no, this was yeah yeah. If anyone watched the Spanish Grand Prix, um, so before they went on track, they had the um, the cars just kind of like doing a lap around. This. This minigame apparently never gets old. I'm going nuts here, we're getting more and more boxes of junk every day. Do me a favor and burn all of these up, what do you, uh, what do you say? Um, but if anyone watched it, um, there's like a, there was like a bar of, um, advertising. Um, this would have been like after turn 12, I think. Hey! Watching my streams is a good time, but... This is, this is, a. Uh, Tricky one. Wow. Wow, I'm fairly off the mark on this one. But uh yeah, no, so uh they're around like turn 12, they're just like, you know, doing the, the warm-up lap to get to the grid. Um not the formation lap, by the way, just the, the first warm-up lap. And uh there was one bit where the camera, like, you know, it changed shot to a new camera, and for one singular frame, maybe it was two if you're watching it at 60 FPS. But for one singular frame, the advertising banner that they superimpose into the frame wasn't there. And so I just saw it flick in. Like, I, I, I feel like I've trained my eye to, like, spot that. I did it! I did it! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I, I think that's the first time I've ever seen zero seconds count. I, I'm amazed. I, does that mean I finished it perfectly on the mark? And it was like, oh, this is- that was exactly what I was talking about. It's like when- when you time something and it's like it's, you know, it's exclusive on one, inclusive on the other, and it just works out. It just works out. So, but yeah, no, so like, um, yeah, I noticed that the, the sign wasn't there for one frame. Yeah, when you get a bar. It's like, oh, you gotta do this in at least 25 seconds. Oh, sorry, at most 25 seconds. I'm like, yeah, 25 seconds. That's like a P's get degrees kind of thing. <laughs> Screw me, Paul starts one the universe is that thing. It looks like a flower with a face. Wow. It's a fire flower, huh? Well, I gotta say, though, you collect some of the most interesting stuff I've ever seen. The level did say weird, so... Were you expecting me to complete this collection by now? And alright. Is he gonna comment on it? No, he's just gonna say the same thing about that. Okay. And are you just gonna say the same thing you've always said? You got them all! I'm gonna have to brag to everyone! Well, there you go. There's nothing really to it, and yeah, you can't pick them up again, but... Uh... They're just there, so you can see them. You also like how every single world, this music is getting more and more... Like it's grander, the strings now are not just a little, you know, wind part playing the tune. Yeah. But let's let's get to serious business. Let's let's get the star. Let's get the real star. Can the real star stand up? Who knows? It's a star. I don't think it stands, but sure. Okay, to the same galaxy that I just did. Once more, we're feeling. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I'm really bad, like, especially when cutscenes in a lot of games do it. 
Um, I, I can't recall, like, any, like, films that have bad cuts like that, where something is, like, not visible at the beginning of the, the shot. Usually, <laughs> usually people are pretty good on that. I, it, give me the, yeah, I was like, give me the full gravity. There you go, so, at least you know what's over there now. I don't have to go over there. Whoop. I, I appreciate you can ride momentum as well while you're doing all of this. I, I, I turn up my spin back. I want to see if I can, I want to see if I can do it. I'm, I'm being thrown more upwards than I am, like, coming back down, aren't I? Oh, oh I'm, I'm back down to the bottom. Whoop. 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 I, I can't move left. I can move forward, but I can't move left. Okay, alright, alright, alright. This is getting this is getting kind of annoying. <laughs> there you go, let's just let's, Oh, oh, but now no, no, I'm 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 going back down. I'm I'm just how about there we go. There we go. Okay, okay, I'm going. <laughs> Fancy mushroom. Fancy mushroom would help. I love the little I just jumped in that Goomba. That was a that was a very bizarre jump. I, I assume it's because he was upside down, so I hit him on his top. It's not about jumping on the Goomba, it's about hitting the Goomba from above. Unless it's upside down, in which case I guess you can kick him. I love these guys, because they hurt you if you like have them on you for too long. Also, I get the same rules apply. I touched that guy on the bottom apparently just then. Look at this mechanic getting reused again. How could they? But you can't ground pound the the question mark blocks. What's the point? What's the point? I think I was playing Paper Mario earlier, and uh, you can you can ground pound the question mark blocks in that game, but Mario Galaxy 2 is apparently a no go. So. Uh, it's a bit gutsy of me, but that's okay. I can make it out alive. And here we are. Oh, oh you, may be, you may be wondering what's down there. There's a block. We'll just go with that. Bit of an interesting way to end the level, I'll say that. Uh -huh. It's not a grand place. The texture honestly looks a little bit weird on the wall as well, but... You know, it does the job. And that star goes away! Into the- into the wonderful star reactor in that one bit. They count the comet medals, but like, there's no, you know, need to really count them. Wow, back here? Back here gets the prankster comet, okay. Oh, let's do it. Let's- let's go back and explore. The joys of World 3. Uh, also, yeah, I guess no, no comment on the, sorry, yeah, no comment on that level. Just two stars. So, back to World 3. Uh, there we go. That's a fun world to navigate. It's a prankster. It's just a prank bro. Silver stars in double time. You may be wondering, double time? Yeah, look how fast these blocks are going! That makes this whole level, you know, a bit trickier. I wish the music was going at double speed. Also, that is not double speed, that is quadruple speed. Seriously, because you can hear the beeps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just quadruple speed. It's not even double speed, Nintendo. But it does mean that you get these like things where you'll save your jump onto the same like polarity that you had before. And you get Yoshi. Which I think might be the only time you ever hear this song with uh, the Yoshi bongos in the back. Oh, <laughs> I, my brain kerfuddled so hard just then. 
I need Yoshi back though. I'm, I'm paying to. No, I need my Yoshi. This is gonna be a fun jump. I need my Yoshi. I want to hear that bongo. He was just here, wasn't he? No. No, my Yoshi. Yoshi, so happy. He does move fast as well, so maybe it'll, it'll be an advantage for me. This is... Yeah, this means it's kind of interesting when you got the bongos going. There we go. Is there another Yoshi in there? Oh, there is another Yoshi there. I could have just... That's okay. It is like part of the level though, it's not... It's not quite the whole thing, but it's enough to have to do this bit. Extra man. Oh, no. I was like, mm. I wasn't too sure who was, who was going to have the space. All right. No, Yoshi. Yoshi, unfortunately. Oh gosh! Oh, my brain, my brain is not comprehending why I'm, why I'm timing everything so poorly. I'll just say this, this concept, like when you uh, air quotes double time it, it's it's such like a mess. It's such a mess with your brain. Ooh, okay, safety platform. Just another safety platform, and then work my way up to the top. Alright, I'm right at the top. This can only end tragically or in success. There's no boring deaths around here. The boring death would have been not anticipating the music stopped. Well, that's a, that's a fun star. <laughs> this is reverse Team Rocket, this, you know, the little thing. He, he appears with this, with the flash, and then he comes in. So. Well, so there's, that's another, oh, hi there. Hey, you have 77 power stars. How lucky. Wow. Thanks, so, thanks, I guess. Didn't comment on 69 earlier though. What the heck, Blubber? Oh! Another comet. Another day, another comet. At the Starshine Beach. Galaxy. It's a whole galaxy made around a beach. Doesn't that like require like... Cause like they named the galaxy- well I guess we named it the Milky Way which... Bit of a bit of a weird one. I like this purple coin because it's an open area. So why not make a little racetrack out of it? Yes. You have 35 seconds, and they basically go. You got to get 100 100 coins, and they say how many there are. 140 total. All right, let's go. I'm I'm not doing a particularly amazing job of lining these up in the center, but or really getting any of these. Wow. I guess you don't have to hold forward though, you can, well... Like you can just hit left and right to turn. Well, this is, this is not going to work out at all, but this is really not going to work out. I think I might have actually <laughs> been able to grab enough coins, that was very amazing, but... Uh, it's, a, it's a quick foot level. Alright. Once more, with feeling. Oh. I, okay, just eat all three peppers. Just, just apparently have the endurance to go for it. So I feel like with purple coins this wide, it's uh, beyond the scope to ask someone to get all 140. There we go. It was a lot better that time, I'll just say. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go with 108. Also, again, I stopped the clock on you, so... Those two coins tempting me in the back there, though. Oh, Mario seems happy. Yeah. Yeah. Star 78, another galaxy complete. I mean, when you think about it, we're getting kind of close. We're getting really close to the end. Oops. So, World 3 is done. And that just means as long as no random comets keep reappearing, we should be alright. I think that gives, that invites the opportunity to visit uh, a galaxy that I find is kind of cool. Slip Sand Galaxy. I might be able to get both stars in unless they just casually shove in another comet somewhere. Slip Sand Galaxy. We've got Squizzard's Sandy Sinkhole. Uh, they knew what they were doing, weren't they? They had to know. So this whole galaxy, you know, it's a bit of a bit of a dusk kind of setting. We got a bit of a you know, thing going on over here, but this whole planet, this whole galaxy, unlike the other sandy galaxy in the first game, it's all about these like uh, conveyor belt ones. It's like a it's like a sand waterfall or a sandfall, but where does it go? It just goes into the void at the end of the the snaky tube. By the way, you like how Luigi legitimately lights up when he passes these? Just a small touch. Thought it's kind of neat. I was going to say it was an original music theme going on there. Alright, let's see if I can do this as Luigi. It's probably going to be vital. There's probably a hungry Luma. You know how it goes. Bajillion coins in the bonus room. Hungry Luma. Every time. Uh, whoop, whoop. There we go. I always find it so weird to think. Yeah, I mean, when you're doing a, a, a desert theme, like, every time, I, I don't know what the name of the mode is, but I, I just like calling it, like, the Arabian mode. So you've got the, the lowered second, so it's like... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, how, how do I... Hold on, I'll do an A. So you got dun, 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 dun. I, it's really off. Hold on. Uh, this is this is first time on stream, but very important. I got an incredibly loud melodica. I'm gonna pull it out right now. Where is the mouthpiece gone? Where actually has the mouthpiece gone? Because I cannot play the melodica without the thing. That you put in the melodica. There it is. It does feel a bit weird. But, uh, so lucky it's just in. Uh, I guess that's B? Yeah, that's a B. Um, <laughs> so it's always, it's always like you got the lowered second. You always got that going on. So a raised third. Major third, but a minus second in there. Uh, what do they usually do? There's something going on at the end there. Something like that. So. I just call it the Arabian mode. There's a lot of pieces that are doing it. It's actually, it's it's pretty okay if you're in uh, the key of B, I guess. You just play with um, uh, an F sharp and a uh, A sharp. And a, and a D sharp. Something like that, so. <laughs> Hello, Jacarana. Thank you for condemning my melodica playing. I'm not very good at it, but <laughs> that was, uh, that was um, on stream trying to figure out the music. And hopefully it was really loud. I gotta, I gotta adjust that in buzz. But they didn't hide the Comet Medal this time. It's just next to some chickens who poop out bombs. 
wouldn't you poop out bombs? I shouldn't be jumping that far out into space. <laughs> so let's get some let's get some fire flower power. Flower power? You gotta be going fast, because one there's all these pokey heads. What are these guys called? They're, like the actual just heads of pokies. So many so many unique deserts in the world and they always focus on one. I know, right? Like, I mean the the classic as an Australian, the, the great Australian deserts get fairly overlooked. I think the only video game that ever goes into the Australian desert is like rally games, like WRC and the Colin McRae games. They're the only ones that will ever go to an Australian desert because it's, it's very red, Australian deserts. Now, I love this bit, by the way. You slide them down. And, uh, you can crash Bandicoot, like, hit left and right, which you're gonna have to do here. But it's actually, it's very hard to, like, center yourself. I'm, you're gonna see I'm constantly kind of moving a bit to the right. And, and uh, that's a bit of an important point. Because, uh, know how, well, one, I love how happy these rollers are. But I also love that, yes, this is a massive giant slide. It was there on the on the thumbnail. And then they just casually guide you into, you know, getting thinner down the middle. As a kid, I would never be able to line this up. As an adult, that seemed easy. But you gotta be a bit precise on that one. It's a bit it's a bit pesky there. You can get a lot of coins here. And then they just give you a boss anyways. So yeah, it's always Arabian deserts. Um, there's deserts in the US as well. I don't know if Japan really has any deserts, but like, what would the closest deserts be? That'd be like more... Well, I guess you'd actually hit the, you know, Central Asia. Maybe the Middle East is a bit far. Maybe there's some in inspirations there. So this is what I like. There is a boss theme. But all you gotta do is you gotta feed him some fireballs. And he goes, ouch. So let's see if I can hear the theme without the fire flower. Massive one in China. Yeah, maybe they know it. Yeah. I like how kind of, you know, muted the theme is here. Got a little, little jazzy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm about to get very caught out. But you got this, like, you know, this drum machine with the hi-hat in the back. The base kind of going. And then just, you know, this like funky piano going on. Get the fire flower. Much more percussion. And then uh, the fire flower theme just naturally going on top of it. Get him! This is, this is one of those bosses everyone forgets about as well. It just happens, but now I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I've got cannons. I'm not actually angry, but I've got cannons. So even when you take him out, he's going to keep firing at you. Actually, I think he's only going to be firing at you with the cannons. Oh, he's got two big bombs. Too bad you can literally just stand still and keep waving the Wii remote and you beat him. But. Points for, for concept. No idea where the star, why the star went so high up as well, but very dramatic. How many bosses take place in a little sandy dome like this, you know? This boss in Twilight Princess was like that. If anyone remembers the spinner boss. I love the spinner. Maybe I should play Twilight Princess again, but I love that boss. That, that was a great boss. Don't know the name of the, the boss, but... It was, it was the skeleton, like, Stalfos thing. The big guy. A ghost has appeared in Slip, Slip Sand Galaxy. What a name as well, Slip Sand. Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet has yet another... Yet another comment. Okay, well, they ruined it. I gotta do another comment. And there goes Luigi. Off into the void. Never to be seen again. Until next... You know, next time he shows up. How does he keep hopping around here? Because he wasn't on... He's not on the... The... 
the face ship originally. Where does he keep coming? Where does he keep going? Who knows? Who knows? So, Bouncer's Gravity Gauntlet. I will make this the last star of the stream, but it will be a good one, unless it's a bad one. Please be a good star. I, f I can't even recall what the one was this one. Speed run! So the same level, but again. Come on, game. Ah, but we got, we got the Crash Bandicoot clocks, so that's okay. And the star is in that one elusive spot that I thought there was something. It is the whole level up to there, so it's most of the level. We got our dramatic music. Let's make haste. What makes a good lava level? Having everything fire related. So you've got your lava, you've got things spinning fireballs. These fire bars, I don't know who came up with the idea. Like it's just a it's just a block of just fireballs. It's just reusing the same sprite. Uh as um you know what the fire mushroom does. There's a big thing with fire in the original Mario's Bowser spits fire, fire mushroom, uh castles have lava, like There's a lot to it. I, I wonder like if there's any, you know, conceptual that should not have been a save and that should not have been picking up the thing, but sure. I think you can hear the star just because it's uh pretty close on the right. The Mario OST. The Mario OST is fire, that is true. I love the syncopation in the piano bass here as well. And then you have some, you know, some on-beat music. Again, the driving ostinato going on. I guess an ostinato can just be a beat. It's never truly resolving. Even though it's back at the beginning again, it's just like... It's, it's great. This soundtrack is great. Like, if anything, like, I think one of the biggest things of this game that, you know, it doesn't matter how amazing... Well, sorry, it does matter how amazing the mechanics are. But, like, I think the biggest reason why everyone would just keep gushing about the original Mario Galaxy, and I feel like they, they hide Galaxy 2, but I think the things that made both these games magical is not just... The fact that they look, they still look really good. They're just, you know, they, they're so shiny. They're so clean. They're so well presented, I feel. It's very hard to like find, you know, the technical flaws in, in how the game looks apart from it's on the Wii. It's got some, you know, a bit of a lower resolution than other games that 2010 had. But on top of that, like, never mind also just, you know, dumping all these wonderful gameplay mechanics at you. Just the music never stops feeling grand and amazing and it's something that i feel like i mean new mario struggles i think mario odyssey's great but it doesn't capture that same grandiose vibe that these games have um which is great in its own way because there's a lot of great gems in, in mario get uh mario odyssey um but i feel like yeah there's not many other games that really capture you know that big orchestral kind of vibe that this game does. I think this is like, this is peak, oh, that's a risky thing to say, this is peak video game orchestra music. It's up there, it's up there, we'll just go with that. Anyway, uh, without making too many more bold claims, I would like to uh, briefly recap on what we just got as stars, just before I end the stream, don't worry. Uh, so there were a few comments all around, but in particular, we checked out the Chomp Works and I died 50 million times. Uh, helped out a guy get a Goomba in one of the earlier levels. Helped out a guy get a um, uh, spinning top in another one of the levels. Before Bowser. And then entered a brand new world where there was stuff in space. And there was also booze all around. There was flippy switchy things. And a little bit of sand all over the place. Uh, ultimately, the first three worlds are completely done. Uh, World 4 is one star away, and there's... I think that's about half the size of World 5. So, next stream, we'll probably tackle... I don't know if I'll actually be able to... If 
fight Bowser in the next stream. Just for reference, it does look like there's six worlds, but a little bit more. Trust me on that one. Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you all so very, very, very much for watching. So if you did enjoy the stream, you can follow. I just stream every week. That's about it. It's just this time. I just do it for funsies. Um, and I upload these VODs on YouTube. So if you do miss parts of it and you want to see it later, um, you could be the guy who uh, searches Citroen C4 on YouTube and somehow comes across my video. Actually, will you ever... Maybe I should stick Citroen C4 in the tags and... And then you'll go, ah, it was him all along. <laughs> so, uh, so there's that. Um, do I have a, a, a cool thing, uh, thing on the melodica? I got that, but how do I only have 93 followers? It's a slow, it's a slow, slow burn. I, I always like the, the wheezy way to style, where it's like he never went viral and he somehow got up to like a couple of hundred thousand subscribers. And I kind of like that, like, his audience was very, like, earnest. So, I like doing that. Let's not go viral. Let's have just viewers who, who enjoy stuff. But, hey, if, if you do like it, you can share it with friends as well. So, that's all good. Anyways, thank you very much, everyone. Have a good one. And, uh, it's still going to be May next time. So, I can't stop singing the, uh, is it in excess? Not in excess. What's the term? In sync. I get them mixed up by name all the time. All right. See you, everyone. Woo.